Thanks, everyone. Hey, Mohit, a few weeks ago, we heard Sanjay talk about some exciting announcements between Cohesity, Microsoft, and the future of AI for the enterprise. Um, can you talk us through how Cohesity un is uniquely architected to bring such game-changing advancements to the technology and the platform for its end users? Yes, Greg. But first, we are so excited to be here. We are proud to bring industry's first platform that combines the power of data management, data security, and now data insights, which means bringing the power of generative AI to you. Um, Greg, Cohesity was always architected, as you know, to not just be a dumb repository of data, but to actually do more with the data, to bring workloads to, uh, close to the data, right? And that's what's making it possible now to bring AI directly to the platform, right? To uh, give you the power of those data insights. That's what making it all possible, making that data AI ready, uh, and what's um, making it possible behind the scenes is our unique distributed file system, our advanced metadata management and indexing, um, and the power of that AI-ready data comes to your hands. You know, Mohit, hearing you talk about the platform like this really reminds me when I first joined the company and just getting so excited and so awestruck with all the advancements that the team has already done to date. You know, what we have planned here is just, is, is just incredible. You know, as I like to say, we designed this platform with the vision of enabling you to do more with your data, to drive operational efficiencies from that backup data. You know, Mohit, looking bro more broadly across the landscape, what sort of pitfalls do you see um, some of the more legacy players as well as even the more modern solutions out there uh, falling into when trying to address some of these same, you know, modern AI ready um, solutions? Greg, uh, a big pitfall is that most of these products were architected with um, the vision to be just doing one or two things. They're one or two trick ponies. And we all know that uh, slapping on requirements later down the line is very, very tough. It's kind of like trying to grow a phone into becoming a smartphone, right? So that's the big pitfall. So these products were never architected uh, with um, the need to run computation close to the data. And so it's kind of going to be hard for them to embrace AI and bring that goodness close to where the data is. And that brings, becomes our big differentiator um, and, um, you know, gives that leg up to our customers. <laughs> you know, this really creates a compelling story for our existing customers and to our future customers out there. I really think this gives you something that you should be asking your existing vendors about. You know, if you've been watching our prior demos over the last couple of weeks around AI, ML, and Cohesity, you might have seen some of the demos that leverage some of the advancements of the Azure OpenAI stack. You know, we've been extending, expanding this vision across multiple clouds to now include the AI capabilities of GCP, uh, as well as working on building out some future prototypes for AWS. You know, before we jump straight into the demo, would you mind setting the stage about what the folks out here are going to see today? Greg, as you know, we have spoken to a lot of compliance and governance organizations around the world. And one thing we constantly hear is that people want to sift through tons of data and drive insights from that. And now with the power of generative AI brought to the Cohesity platform, you can do exactly that. So Greg, let's roll. So imagine that you're a people leader or an internal auditor and it's been brought to your attention that there could be some potential quid pro quo evident in the email exchanges between your employees and a potential vendor or an, a, a customer. Uh, today, we're gonna show you how to leverage your existing Cohesity M365 backups to gain additional insights such as these. So you'll see, we're gonna log directly into Helios and we're gonna jump from the app switcher into a brand new data insights application. This is in our standard Helios dashboard. And once you've clicked into the Data Insights dashboard, you'll see that you're presented with a couple of options. First is the data discovery, 
and then operational uh, analytics. And within this, you'll see a couple of example questions you can use, or you can type directly into the box. We're gonna go with this example around finding evidence of quid pro quo in email backups. So what this is doing is using the AI model to look into that email backups to, to alert the user of potential. As you can see, here's a list of about five or six emails that start to fit the list. What we're gonna do is then um, look at some of the citations. This shows exactly what backup runs these emails that came from, so you can dive in further investigate the problem. From here, you can then ask the model yet another question. You can go in and say, can you please highlight the potential evidence uh, you found of quid pro quo in the email for the annual gala sponsorship? And what it's going to do is go out to your backups, find that offending email, uh, pull the entire thread and highlight the section read that the model believes is a potential violation of the, of the company's quid pro quo policy. You know, Mohit, what do you think when you see this sort of demo? Greg, every time I see this, I start getting goosebumps. Yeah, I know, me too, <laughs> right? So as you can see, this really starts to extend that humanization of the interaction between our end users uh, and the machine itself. You know, no longer do our users have to learn complex query languages or advanced reporting features in order to get answers to simple questions. You know, Mohit, do you have any closing thoughts for us on this topic? You know, I really hope you see how we are bringing in additional value through the advancements of AI and ML. The bottom line is that our platform, the Cohesive Data Cloud, is already the best in breed in data protection and data security. But now with the power of generative AI, we bring to you data insights. And so please stay tuned for all the exciting announcements we have in store for you for the future. And so Greg, let's uh, you know, uh, welcome the next speaker at this point. Thank you very much.